What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video, I'm gonna be bringing you my full review of this, the Synology DS213J. Now, for those of you that have seen my room tour, and I'll leave a link down in the video description for that, you'll know that I use these Synology devices extensively, both in my home office and also in a professional capacity as well. Now this particular one is a two bay device and Synology have a load of devices going right up to quite a high level. But even though this one is a fairly entry level device, it still has a whole bunch of functionality that even the large devices still support. So in here you can see we've still got all of the basic file sharing along with the ability to for surveillance and also backup servers as well. You can even make this your own web server and include things like WordPress or Joopla and there really is a whole bunch of functionality that you can use straight out of the box with the DSM operating system that comes on board with the Synology device. Now this particular one has got some good specifications for the actual price point and it includes the ability like I say for two internal SATA drives and you can go up to two times four terabyte giving you a total of eight terabytes of storage. Now let's take a look inside the box itself and as always with Synology very very nice premium packaging and I always think that's a nice touch makes you feel like you're getting value for money when you first take it out of the box. Now first up we get the actual mains cable and then in the main compartment just here as we put it out this is the actual main unit itself and we'll come back to that in just a minute. Now as we put out this separate box here this has got all of the accessories in that we're going to require to set up and use the DS213J and in here we've also got the power brick that we're going to use to obviously power the device along with some ethernet cables some software and also some screws as well for being able to put some internal hard drives into the box now let's take a closer look at the DS213J itself and the first thing you'll notice as we get it out of the packaging is that this is a very very attractive device. No matter where you place this, whether it be in your home office or your bedroom or out in the open in the living room, it's going to look extremely attractive and it's got absolutely fantastic build quality. Now as we come around onto the front we've got some lights, we've got a status light, a LAN light for local area network activity and also an activity light for both of the discs along with a power button and power LED as well and then down in the bottom left hand corner you can see the model number itself. On the side we've got the Synology name and it looks extremely nice with those little vented outlets and then on the back which I'll come on to in a little bit more detail we've got a lot of the actual connections as well as the fan but again going back to the actual build quality the design it looks very very nice and feels very very nice as well. Round on the back we can see here we've got the large fan which is going to obviously expel all of the hot air out of the box to make sure we keep those hard drives nice and cool. And then just below that we've got the local area network connection. This is a gigabit connection along with two USB ports and as well as that we've got the DC input for the power as well as a little Kensington lock as well there if we want to actually lock this down. Now to get access to the internals you simply slide this apart and then that literally gives us full access to the internals of the DS213J and you can see it's a very very simple unit. So they've managed to put a whole bunch of specifications here onto this tiny little mainboard as well as the actual fan as well and fit it all into this very very small package. You can see we've got the two drive slots there for the two SATA drives and if you want to you can get cages to enable you to put 2.5 inch drives in there as well and just adapt those down. Now when it comes to fitting the drives itself it's very very simple you simply slide them in attach them into the SATA connectors and then just simply put the screws into the side that are provided inside the box to hold the discs in place. But it's very very easy to fit these drives very very simple and you're really not going to have any problems whatsoever installing these two drives like i say the actual build quality even inside the unit is extremely nice you really don't feel at any time that anything's going to fall apart or break and the actual synology devices that i've had have lasted years and years and years and i've been very very pleased and impressed with the build quality and the reliability of these little synology devices so there we go, we've now got the drives installed inside the Synology unit and now it comes time to actually turn it on and configure the DS213J itself. 
Now, once you've got the device turned on, all you need to do is simply point your browser to the IP address of the Synology box itself. That will prompt you to run through an actual wizard to configure it. And once you've done that, you'll be into the main administration interface itself. Now, the actual admin tool itself is called Synology DSM, written in-house by Synology, and as you can see, is very, very aesthetically pleasing. It looks extremely nice on the eye, and also is very, very simple to use, and very, very functional as well. One of the great things inside DSM is the package center, and that enables you to install a whole bunch of applications in one click. As you can see here, there's an extremely extensive list. We've got things like DHCP server. We've also got the ability to do things like Cloud Station as well, where we can set this up as our own personal Dropbox and access our data over the internet. We can do things like set this up as a mail server, a media server. We can even go as far as installing things like WordPress and set this up as our own blog running on our own internal Synology device. You can also install things like Plex on here to get access to all of your media files, both locally and internally as well. And you can also set up things like your RAID level and do a whole bunch more configuration inside the DSM itself. Now, like I say, it's very, very simple to use, very, very simple to configure. And once you've got all of that done and you've got everything installed, then you can just simply access it as you would any other shared network device. So any device on the network will be able to get access to all of the files and information on the NAS device itself. Whether you've got one machine or 10, no matter how many you've got, they can all get access to this central data and everyone can share the files and information across the board. Now the actual performance of the Synology DS213J is absolutely fantastic. You can get read speeds of about 100 megabytes per second and write speeds of about 70 megabytes per second. So this is a very, very fast device indeed. And my final opinion of the DS213J, this is an absolutely fantastic device again from Synology. I can personally guarantee you the reliability of these Synology devices having used them a long time myself and this again is a great little entry level unit if you want some shared centralized or even resilient storage on your network available for you and potentially other users to access then this is a great little solution and you definitely will not go wrong going out and purchasing one of these little Synology devices anyway guys thank you very much for watching please do hit that like button if you enjoyed this review subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all in the next video see ya